morning. It is a day in October, quite possibly the 14th day of October, the 14th day of Vlogtober. We are two weeks into spooky season and I haven't done anything Halloweeny apart from a load of pumpkins, which hopefully, don't hold me to it, but hopefully they'll be listed on Etsy and Facebook this afternoon. So if you like my pumpkins, you can get your hands on them. That sounds filthy. Um, oh, hello. I have a dog friend. We've just got back from our dog walk. It is chilly, but not ridiculously cold. I probably could have gone for a lighter jacket rather than my big floofy coat. Um, yeah, played with all our usual doggy friends. Yeah, we've got some good friends, haven't we? Yeah, we've got some good little doggy friends. My hair was dead straight when I went out this morning. I don't quite know what happened. Just gonna make myself a coffee. I think I've only got decaf left though. I have a very long list of things to do today. Mike added that one. Um. I'm not going to get them all done today, there's no chance. That's the next one, I'm going to clean out the oven. I put the oven cleaner stuff on it earlier and I just need to wipe it out. Don't look at my nails. Ready to clean the oven. Hopefully this hob stuff has worked and I don't have to scrub too hard. clean and dry with that tumble dryer is always fun <laughs> my bollocks somehow the bathroom sink is, uh, it's not leaking now but at some point it has leaked or water's got underneath into the cupboard underneath all the spare towels and stuff is wet which is fine but I've got a whole big box of bars of soap that I've been stashing they're all absolutely soaked I know it's just soap it's really bloody annoying because now all the boxes and stuff are wet that's really aggravating. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, it's only half 11, well, 20 to 12, and I feel like I've achieved loads today. I'm feeling really, really proud of myself. I've done almost everything on my list. All I've got left to do is put a load of laundry away that's hanging around the house, clean laundry, do a bit of dusting upstairs, um, and put some stuff up on Etsy, which I'll do later. I'll probably do that about tea time. Um, 
yeah that's it i've done everything else on my list i mean obviously there are always more jobs to do there's you know i was doing it earlier i was, I was um went to put something in the freezer and noticed the edge of it was dirty so i thought i'll add that to the list clean the freezer and there's always one more job to do um and i tend to get a bit overwhelmed and a bit obsessed with um cleaning once i start i'm like oh i just need to do that and i just need to do that and i just need to do that um and then it turns into this massive thing and i'm not brilliant at managing my time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to work out a daily cleaning schedule and like a weekly cleaning schedule so things that have to be done every single day things that have to be done once a week and i'm going to try and assign different jobs to different days so that i have a routine and a plan um, and i don't go off piste and i don't end up overwhelming myself so for example you know i'll do the bathrooms on monday i'll do the beds on tuesday I'll do, the, you know, the living room. I mean, the living room pretty much has to be done every day. But, you know, I'll assign different jobs to different days. Um, and then hopefully, after my dog walk in the morning, I can spend an hour cleaning. And then I've got the rest of the day then. That's that's the goal. So I'm going to have a little scribble, try and figure out a routine. Um, and then I'll let you know what I've come up with. And at some point, I will... I let my bullet journal slip again. I've stopped doing it again. I haven't done it since the last video I posted, which I believe was June. That's really bad, isn't it? So I'm going to set up my bullet journal for November. Um, and I will include my cleaning rotor in my November spread. That will probably be a separate video, though. Um, I'll do like a plan with me and you can watch how I lay out my planner. Um, but yeah. It's half 11 and I've sat down with coffee. I'm so happy and it's actually hot. It's too hot for me to even drink at the moment. I've just done, cleaned a load of jacket potatoes for mine and Mike's tea. I always do a couple of extra in case he wants one for work tomorrow. Um, and if not, I like to chop up a cold one and fry it for my breakfast sometimes as a bit of a treat. Um, so yeah, I've done some jacket potatoes and then I've put some potatoes on to boil because the boys are having bangers and mash tonight. Um, so what I'll do is I'll prep that prep the mash ahead of time because um, then at tea time what I do the only way I can get Floyd to eat mash is if it's really cheesy so I do a layer of mash a layer of cheese layer of mash layer of cheese um, in a little dish and I'll put it in the oven for 20 minutes just to let the cheese bubble and melt um, and he really likes that like cheesy mash so um, I can prep the, the mash ahead of time layer it all up in the dish and then come five o'clock all i have to do is whack it in the oven with the sausages and we're good to go so that's another thing i'm trying to do is a menu plan and b prep food ahead of time um if i do it now in the mornings while the dog's asleep and the cats are out the way and then i've got time to clean up the kitchen afterwards it just means that when we have that mad couple of hours come sort of half four five o'clock when the dog's going nuts, the kids are coming home from school, we've got homework to do, the house is a mess, and I have my little half past four meltdown. Um, so <laughs> I'm trying to avoid that by prepping food in the mornings, and then all I've got to do is whack it in the oven. Or if I'm super duper busy and everything's really hard, Mike can whack it in the oven when he gets home. So it's going well so far. So I've got the dinner prepped, and I've also got the leftover tomatoes and some red peppers roasting in the oven so i can do a pasta sauce which we will have for dinner at the weekend so yeah i'm feeling really proud of myself today um i've had a couple of slumpy weeks i think it's it's a bit of a weird one for me the it tends to go with the sounds like such hippie nonsense but it tends to go with the moon cycles as so we're coming up to the new moon I get this new burst of energy and I want to start all these new projects and I want to clean things and I want to go, go, go and, you know, start new things. And and then, you know, coming towards the full moon again, these things are all coming to fruition and um, I start to get tired again. I'm like, oh, you know, I've worked really hard. And then over the it's, it's a weird it's a weird cycle. Um, but I had a look this morning. And I was like, I'm feeling so different to what I was a couple of days ago. I'm so like full of energy and I want to get this done and that done and I'm all inspired. And I went, oh, do you know what? I bet it's a new moon. Looked at the calendar. Lo and behold, the new moon is on Friday. So 
I'm going to make the most of it. I've learned by now to just accept that that's the way I work. Um, I think obviously hormones are linked in with the lunar cycle and it's all, it's all a big thing. Um, but yeah, I've definitely learned to kind of learn and pay attention to my cycles. I know that the last couple of weeks have been a bit sluggish and I'm going to have a little bit more energy for a little while. So I'll get loads done and then I need to not beat myself up for needing to take it easy when my energy levels start dipping again um it doesn't help that i just have this random constant random exhaustion aches and pains and feeling uncomfortable all the time which has no explanation at the moment um it's just something i have to deal with the doctors just keep sending me for blood tests and the blood tests always come back fine. I'm not deficient in anything. I have no organ failure, which considering the amount I drink is quite impressive. Um, or the amount that some people think I drink. <laughs> I have no diabetes, no thyroid issues, nothing. I'm not even deficient in iron. Um, it's just completely random, unexplained pain and fatigue. So... All I can do is make the most of the energetic days and get going and do stuff and then learn to not beat myself up on the days where I have less energy. Um, and days like today I just love. I feel so accomplished and so brilliant because I've done so much. I've still got a couple of jobs to do, obviously, to hang the bedding up when that comes out the wash. But apart from that, I think I'm going to sit and knit. I've got to finish some pumpkins and I've got to package some pumpkins up, photograph them and get them up on Etsy and eat i must eat i still haven't eaten i'm terrible for remembering to eat so i think i'm gonna pop some hash browns and sausages in the oven for myself okay so what i came up with was my daily tasks that have to be done every single day i have to unload the dishwasher first thing in the morning i usually do that anyway and then reload it throughout the day turn it on before i go to bed and then that is a good routine to get into um i try and do a load of laundry every day if necessary Poop scoop the cat's litter tray and sweep up any litter that they've kicked out in the bathroom. Go around the garden and check for dog mess. Hoover and sweep throughout the entire downstairs. Um, wipe and tidy the sides in the kitchen. That's a thing that people should be doing as they go. Unfortunately, they don't. So I end up doing a big kind of wipe round and tidy in the evenings, which is OK. And as I say, if I'm prepping dinner sort of in the mornings, I do a lot then. Um, and just to make the beds every day. That's sort of my daily um, essentials, if you like, things that need to be done every single day. Um, and I do tend to steam clean most days just because we've got animals and we're in and out the garden a lot. Um, my brother has my steam cleaner at the moment, so I'm struggling without it. But steam clean as well most days. And then my weekly tasks. So I've dedicated Monday to doing the bathrooms. Um... Tuesday would be more of a deep clean of the kitchen, so decrumb the toaster, polish the kettle, clean out the microwave, clean out the fridge. Um, the bins go out on a Tuesday evening. Maybe I should swap that, actually. I'm going to swap Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, I've swapped Tuesday and Wednesday. So Tuesday be dusting and decluttering the lounge you know polishing the mirrors polishing the tv unit um putting everything away in its rightful place cleaning the skirting boards dusting in the corners and things um wednesday will be doing the kitchen because the bins go out tuesday night so wednesday then i can um clean out the fridge clean out the food bin clean out the recycling bin all the little things so wednesday will be kitchen day thursday is conservatory day so Again, just dust, declutter, pick up anything that doesn't belong in there. Um, you know, refresh the sofa if need to. Wipe down the window sills, clean the windows. Um, all that sort of stuff. Friday is bedroom day. So, um, changing the beds, hoovering, and just generally tidying, putting things in the rightful places, and also doing the uniform wash on a Friday. Saturday, if it needs doing, I will do the porch. So I will be um, 
just organising the shoe rack, tidying up the coats, wiping again down the windowsills and the front door, anything that needs doing in the porch. And Sunday, I have nothing. Obviously, if there's stuff that needs doing, I'll do it, but I haven't put any jobs down for Sunday because I like to have a day of rest. Um, all I've put down for Sunday is bake because I like to bake something for the kids to have in their lunch boxes for the week ahead. So that's my little, that's how it looks at the moment. Not very exciting. Um, but as I say, I will put this in my planner properly and I'll show you like a nice little fancy layout. But I'm hoping this is going to help me be a little bit more organised. Oh, I just noticed which notebook I've got. A notepad full of shit notes. I'll never read again. I bought this from bantercards.com. When I had my job in the call centre, which was the worst job I ever had, it was absolutely horrendous. They just treated you like scum. You weren't even a human in that place. Um, but I bought this notebook to take to work and I also bought a load of offensive pens to dish out to my friends to give us a laugh. Um, but yeah. Yes, I'm going to enjoy my coffee now, watch some YouTube. I've got some knitting podcasts to catch up on and that's that yay it is uh half past eight i am just as you can see face mask like my little snazzy headband I'm going to eat a jacket potato with some spaghetti hoops. And Mike bought me a new warmy. Little microwavable heat pack. Isn't it lovely? So I'm going to eat my dinner. Let my face mask sit on for 15 minutes. I also have a small Jack Daniels. Because, you know. Cheers, everybody. Yes, so this face mask reminds me of the sort of kiddie makeup we had. Me and my sister had when we were little, like pink glitter gel. It even smells very similar. It's a very similar consistency. But yeah, it's a peel off. So I'll have fun peeling that off in a minute. Um, yeah. And I'm going to soak my feet in a bit and then I'm going to go to bed. So on that note, I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye.